Hey guys, Internet Dude here. Just wanted to show you a uh, an interesting thing about Trip Planner or the Trip Advisor. I'm not sure what you'd want to call it. I guess Trip Planner. So now, right now, I only have 261 kilometers of range, and I just didn't put a destination that's about 220 kilometers away. And due to uh, weather, I probably wouldn't make it on a charge. So or on the remaining charge. So let me just go and input and show you what happens. So here it is. Actually, no, it's not 220 some kilometers. It's further than that. But uh, so they're going to try and find me supercharger as well. There aren't any nearby. So uh, the trip's actually probably more like 260 or something. But. So it's going to try and send me to Billings, Montana, 1,500 kilometers. So yeah, charging would be needed. Okay, so let's look at the trip. So if you look here, I'm in Saskatchewan. I'm in Regina. Let's say I want to go up to Saskatoon. Well, it's trying to route me to the supercharger network, which, uh, you know, I can't get there. And so it's, it's basically suggesting, which is kind of funny, that I go 4,600 kilometers. Uh, oh, see, now it's, it's trying to reroute me. It's trying to actually find a, a better path. The long and short of it is it's going to keep trying to reroute me until either it just fails and sends me directly there or, or what. I'm not sure. So interesting thing here, though, I can remove all charging stops, but I can't just remove supercharging stops. See, I've stopped at various chargers in this area, but none of them have been superchargers. I've never supercharged. And so now it's saying over 5,000 kilometers. So it's just going to keep changing the route, and it's all kind of useless. So let me remove all charging stops. And then we'll go. Oh, yeah, see, it's so 250 kilometers. So all of that is just because it's there's no superchargers around and it, it gets confused. Now the one suggestion I do have is it should let me um, it should plan my charging stops, including places I've stopped at, because you can see my path here, Regina, come up here. I've charged in Davidson before to Saskatoon. So really, Trip Planner could be smart enough to just tell me to stop at Davidson for you know, an hour or whatever it takes um, because it knows the charging speed of that charger. It's a Sun Country charger. So, kind of interesting, but uh, let's see what, actually, you know, let's see what happens when I add charging stops. Maybe it will add that one back in. Let's see. I'm not sure if it's just going to revert back to superchargers or include that one charger. That I know about. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So Trip Planner's probably okay if you're, you know, near the supercharger network. Right now, Tesla has no plans to build superchargers in Saskatchewan at all. Um, I'd like to see this change so that it doesn't remove all charging stops, it just maybe removes supercharging stops because there are plenty of other charging opportunities. All right, well, that's it. Uh, that's how Trip Planner works in Saskatchewan. Thanks for watching, and uh, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe.